So what are we doing here, Mike? Um, remember we were talking about foam? We were talking about foam. We were talking about yes, foam. Yes, we were. And we were talking about the boss creating foam yes. through atmospheric, atmospheric technology. Atmospheric foam. Right. right. So what's happening is the tip's bringing in some air, mm -hmm. and then that's what's creating the foam as it goes through, through the, the mesh, screen. The screen. And then naturally it's got profoam platinum in the mixture. Of course. The foaming agent. So what I'm going to do because here. Because it ain't foam without profoam. No, that's exactly right. I love that slack. Yeah. Can I use that too? Sure, go ahead. Oh, you can use it all my No all. charge? No, no, I've been all using right. all my lines anyway. I might as well use another one. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's going to be interesting here though, we're going to do some foam and we're going to capture it in a cylinder. The reason being is after we capture the foam, we're going to let it settle for overnight and then we can actually uh, measure does it, take, does it actually take overnight? Like that long? Uh, no. But I'm going to say overnight because we're going to come back the next day and do this. Okay. Because it will be uh, several hours. How, how long It'll will be we several say? hours. Several hours. Several hours for it to drop. So wow. all I'm going to do is this. Right. I'm going to create... I don't have the time though this time. No. Nope. Okay. No timing. Perfect. So all we're going to do is create the uh, foam. We're going to make one liter of it. Okay. Jeez. That's a lot of foam. Let's, let's, let's okay. Foam. I've already stopped that fast. We just made one liter of foam. And now what's going to happen... This foam will go back to water because that's what will happen. Foam is a very interesting product because it's hydraulic. So we can actually push foam in mm -hmm. so many different directions. Mm -hmm. And that's why it works well on uh, going into voids and so right. on yeah. through the uh, uh, pressurized system. But this here is a surface application. If you're doing odor control, you're doing biologicals, all this type of treatment, this is when foam also is outstanding. When Profoam Platinum came to market, what that was all about is the product was tested uh, with Bayer, BASF, uh -huh. for compatibility. Oh, because see. if we you add any sort of foaming agent, yeah. sometimes they have a lot of alcohol in them. Oh, and a lot of, of the products, a lot of products. And that would, that would break down the, yeah, the bubbles. Yeah, it, it break well. It's not so much the bubbles, it becomes incompatible because a lot of the products they use are non-repellent. Okay. So what happens is you add the foaming agent to it, and if it's mm -hmm. not correct, it can cause the product to become repellent. What's going to be really interesting here, and the reason why I've done this, and I wanted to capture one, uh, we, one liter of it, because foam also does a lot of uh, water conservation. So what mm -hmm. you're going to see is this is going to go back to a certain amount of uh, water right. of which we've captured and measured. And what we're going to be able to do is say, what's the uh, ratio? Right. 10 to 1, 15 to 1, 2 to 1. I think we're done here. All right. We're going to come back tomorrow. Okay. And here we are the next day from our foam test with Tim. Yesterday we made 1,200 mils of foam. And today, we take a look, all the foams turned back to water. We're now down to 100 mils. We now have a 12 to one expansion ratio. This is the water reduction that we were talking about when we use Profoam Platinum.